The Tunguska event occurred on June 30, 1908, near the Tunguska River in Siberia, Russia. It was likely caused by the airburst of a large meteoroid or comet fragment entering Earth's atmosphere at high speed. The intense heat from atmospheric friction caused the object to disintegrate explosively, releasing energy equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT. This led to a shockwave that flattened around 2,000 square kilometers of forest, knocking down about 80 million trees. Fortunately, the remote location resulted in no confirmed human casualties. The event raised awareness about the threat of near-Earth objects and the need for ongoing monitoring and research. The Messina earthquake and tsunami of 1908 were a devastating double disaster that struck southern Italy on December 28. The earthquake, likely the most powerful ever recorded in Europe, occurred around 5.20 a.m. local time. Its epicenter was beneath the Strait of Messina, between Sicily and Calabria. The earthquake lasted over 20 seconds and reached a magnitude of 7.5 on the Richter scale. This was followed by a massive tsunami, generating waves as high as 40 feet 13 meters, that pounded the coasts of northern Sicily and southern Calabria. The catastrophe almost entirely wiped out Messina, Reggio di Calabria, and many coastal towns, leading to the loss of more than 80,000 lives. Survivors were either relocated within Italy or emigrated, with many heading to the United States. The Great Smog of London, in 1952, lethal smoke covered the city of London, for five days from December 5th to December 9th. This was triggered by a combination of industrial pollution and coal burning during a cold spell, resulting in a thick smog fog mix. This led to low visibility, causing accidents and transportation disruptions. Tragically, the toxic pollutants, including sulfur dioxide and fine particulates, led to the premature deaths of an estimated 4,000 to 12,000 people and caused widespread health issues. In response to this catastrophe, the Clean Air Act of 1956 was enacted to regulate coal use and industrial emissions, aiming to improve air quality and prevent future casualties. The Shaanxi Province earthquake of 1556, one of history's deadliest, struck northern China with a magnitude of 8 on January 23. It devastated Shaanxi and neighboring Shaanxi, claiming around 830,000 lives and reducing the province's populations by 60%. The epicenter was near Huazhan, Shaanxi. In seconds, it reshaped the landscape, leveling mountains, altering rivers, and causing fires. The catastrophe prompted communities to explore earthquake causes and adopt resilient building materials like wood. All 26 documented earthquakes in the region occurred in the Wei River Basin, where three major faults intersect. The summer of 1816, known as the year without a summer, was notably cold and gloomy across Europe and North America. This unusual weather was linked to the massive eruption of Indonesia's Mount Tambora in 1815. The volcanic explosion sent ash and aerosols into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing global temperatures to drop. Crops failed due to frost and lack of sunshine, leading to food shortages and higher prices. This challenging year inspired inventions like the bicycle, due to increased oats prices and influenced literature with Mary Shelley writing Frankenstein during the gloomy summer. The volcanic event highlighted the interconnectedness of Earth's climate systems. The Tri-State Tornado of 1925, known as the deadliest tornado in U.S. history, struck on March 18. It traveled through southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, and southwestern Indiana, completely destroying towns and causing 695 deaths. The tornado emerged unexpectedly in Ellington, Missouri, moving rapidly northeast and killing 11 people before crossing the Mississippi River into Illinois. It devastated towns including Murfreesboro with 234 fatalities. Crossing into Indiana, it destroyed Griffin, Owensville, and Princeton, leaving 71 dead. 
The tornado lasted 3.5 hours, traveled 290 miles, and reached speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. Alongside casualties, over 2,000 were injured, many left homeless, and fires worsened the aftermath. The Lake Nyos disaster occurred on August 21, 1986, when a massive release of carbon dioxide from Lake Nyos in Cameroon killed between 1,700 and 1,800 people. A traveler passing through the region noticed dead animals and people in nearby villages, signaling a catastrophe. Scientists from France and America investigated the event and discovered that carbon dioxide had built up under high pressure in the volcanic lake. The release of carbon dioxide into the air, likely triggered by a landslide or volcanic activity, suffocated people and animals in its path. Efforts have since been made to prevent similar disasters by reducing the carbon dioxide buildup in the lake. The Ganges Brahmaputra Delta Cyclone also known as the Bola Cyclone, struck East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, on November 12, 1970. Despite not being ranked as the most intense cyclone, it was one of the deadliest tropical cyclones in history. Forming over the Bay of Bengal on November 8, 1970, the cyclone reached peak wind speeds of 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers per hour, before making landfall. Accompanied by a devastating storm surge, it caused extensive flooding and wiped out entire villages. The disaster claimed an estimated 300,000 to 500,000 lives due to drowning. Criticism of the government's handling of rescue and relief efforts compounded political tensions, eventually contributing to the region's independence as Bangladesh in 1971. In history's darker years, there were even grimmer times. One of these was the volcanic winter of 536 AD. Characterized as apocalyptic, it introduced severe climate shifts. Ancient accounts noted darkness, crop failures, and famine, attributed to a colossal volcanic eruption. Skies turned dim, and temperatures plummeted by 2.5 degrees Celsius, alongside a toxic atmosphere. The aftermath triggered social and economic upheaval causing scarcities and mass migrations. The bubonic plague followed, notably the plague of Justinian, claiming over 100 million lives and influencing the collapse of civilizations. Nevertheless, life gradually rebounded by the 600s, signifying the end of this catastrophic era. Possible volcano culprits include Iceland, Indonesia's Krakato, and Papua New Guinea's Rabul. On August 18, 1931, a catastrophic flood hit China's Yangtze River, causing an estimated 3.7 million deaths directly and indirectly in the following months. This disaster, among the worst of the 20th century, impacted a densely populated region heavily reliant on the river for sustenance and farming. The flood resulted from excessive rainfall in April and July, covering a 500-square-mile area. Torrential rains led to rice field inundation, devastating the crop that cities like Wuhan and Nanjing depended on. Starvation and disease, including typhoid and dysentery from the polluted waters, claimed lives even after the waters receded. Neglected flood control measures and resources diverted to civil war further exacerbated the tragedy.